I'm Sidra to Aminata Kamara from the United States of America. It is dedicated this song to one of the biggest organizations at the world. We had. Yeah. Oh. Oh. big baby king. It's your number top the ball. Daily days. Zero nine one. Yeah, no flag team is. Come on. We had organization. So love it all and fine, this now we had Talk and now we land, so love it all and fine yeah. Who's that? Who know they back kapu kapu We had no mix pack kamu kamu We know yeah. they back kapu kapu We had no mix pack kamu kamu Who tell the brother, sister, them say We had no kamu oh, 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 oh. We had now we are Tell them for we, tell them for me say We had no kamu oh, 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 oh. Respect to the one who will make we are team up strong, strong one. Especially to you, by Bure Kablai from the north. And to you, Shenge Pierre from the south. Add me Amina. Happy birthday in advance to you, by Bure Kablai from the north. You celebrate birthday January. Happy birthday in advance to you, Shenge Pierre from the south. You celebrate birthday December. This organization, the three years, December 2022. We they tell who members them all over the world, thank you. Yeah. from Madame Sidra to Aminata Kamara from the United States of America. It is dedicated this song to one of the biggest organizations at the world. We had. Yeah. Big Way Pekin. H and Daily Base. Zero nine one. Yeah, no flag team is. Come on. We had organization. Then all they mix my politics. Then all 
From the north and to you, Schengen Pier from the south. And me, Amina, happy birthday in advance to you by Bure Kablai from the north. You celebrate your birthday January. Happy birthday in advance to you, Schengen Pier from the south. You do celebrate your birthday December. This organization, the three years December 2022. We did tell members them all over the world. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful edition of a program uh, we, we call Cool Rest right on We Are Na YouTube and on Facebook. Well, today na the very first edition of the program for the week. My name is Sembe Pierre, the Freedom Fighter. Of course, we get a lot of things um, for you inside the program today. Like always, the Cool Rest and the Woman right right now for you. The ingredients that we meet on the sea so far, they look hot and then they will make a very good sauce for you at the end of the day. Well, let me see. I know we don't taste the fresh rest, so the cool rest, we will come and see how it really talent. First of all, let us begin for watch quick, quick one. Waiting day as ingredients for you inside the program this morning. We start with the first paper for this morning. The first paper, now the first thing is where we review are inside this particular program and uh, we call or they call this paper camboy 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 uh, newspaper camboy newspaper and the first paper where we go take for this morning well let me see what in camboy newspaper say camboy newspaper gets the first banner headline we say history in the making igp inspector general of police selu first hundred days in office well we can not have much inside this small one because it cool that then bring and come up. We look at the second paper when at the AZ newspaper say deepening bilateral relationship. President be a host, Namibia president and why. And then you get the next one we say Sajusu elected member of ICC committee on budget finance. And then you get president Bio selected to speak at 
U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit. This and other story then day for you inside the AZ newspaper for this morning. And then the next pick for this morning, get for do with the Concord Times newspaper. The Concord Times newspaper said President Bio selected to speak at the U.S.-African Summit. We get 70% Sierra against men using force to discipline wives. Afro-Biometer report, UN chief urge governments to preserve nature. Malaria death in the, on the rise, according to UN. And Freetown Terminal observes anti-corruption day. This and other story there for you inside the Concord Times newspaper. The next paper for this morning gets for do with the Night Watch newspaper. The Night Watch newspaper gets a big banner and like we say, APC's debt in 11 years, 4.99 trillion. SLPP debt in four years, over 80.31 trillion. President Bio host Namibia president, why Southeast regions lags behind. And then you get this one where say open letter to the electoral commissioner for Sierra Leone, disclosure of this aggregated voter register data for Western area urban Freetown. And then you get Sierra Leone Teachers Union, 7th National um, um, Quadrennial uh, Delegate Conference, transforming education through quality teachers. Um, this and other story there for you inside the Night Watch newspaper. The next pick for this morning, now the Sky Times. The Sky Times, of course. Um, Sky Times says, Samura Kamara may be Bio's nightmare. You get MMTU cut exonerates Professor Philip Kanu, and you get UBA Bags 2022 uh, Bank of the Year Award, and you get Ops uh, Department um, Chief Whip Cry raises concern over drug um, proliferation in the country. I think I'm again, Department Chief Whip raises concern over drug proliferation in the country, and you get. Um, Kiss to Bank become Bloom, Bank Africa, and James Abayomi Eyes World C Chairmanship. This and other story there for you inside the Sky Times. And then you get the Vindicator newspaper say Biden to back Africa Union spot in G20 at US Africa Summit. And then you get US Embassy offer $40,000 grants to eight community organizations. And you get Parliament enact new National Minerals Agency Act. And Sierra Leone to benefit from $25 billion gas pipeline project. This is another story there for you inside the Vindicator newspaper. The next paper, now the Indigenous newspaper, where you get a banner headline say, European Union supports Kenema City Council with funds to launch its development plan. Again, ECOWAS Parliament condemns timeliness of PR system in Sierra Leone. New passport is said to be $100 official exchange rate by immigration. And you get this and other story that day for you inside the Indigenous newspaper for this morning. The next one are the open space newspaper where you get four consecutive year 2019 to 2022, UBS Leon wins the Bankers Bank Award again. And you get with ADB and Netherlands Enterprise Agency support, ADB and partners boost government watch sector. As non-compliant compliant member one, 20 fully complained employer gap NACIT, um, compliant uh, uh, employers gap NACIT um, award. And you get elected ICC member committee on budget and finance. Finance shall secretary Sajusu makes Sierra Leone proud. This another story day for inside the open space. And the next paper for this morning now the Independent Observer we say International Anti Corruption Day commemorated. Financial secretary gets ICC endorsement. Motion to annul PR regulations not sustained. This and other story day for you now the Independent Observer for this morning. And the forum newspaper gets Equus put Bio on the spotlight as a ECSL boss flip flops 
Frita Mayor exposes inconsistencies and Keystone uh, um, rebound to Blom's um, bang. And then you get um, Salon Namibia um, rekindle ties. This another story there for you inside the forum newspaper. And the Premier News newspaper say Namibia Sierra Leone strengthening bilateral ties and new e-passport available effective today. Freetown Terminal observes International Anti-Corruption Day and UN agency won against um, off-record hunger next year in West and Central Africa. This is another story day for you inside the Premier News newspaper. And um, we get the next peak when at the Calabash newspaper we say Gento was a businessman, not a favored personality. And then you get during presidential cocktail 2022, sludge president delayed on recent gains and challenges. Bombali district council and over market and EU funded infrastructures to communities. Tax for development conference organized by ban ICTD ends in Freetown and Peace Sierra Leone widely, widely recognized for marketing high grade petroleum products and high cost of operation and adversely um, impinging telecommunications company. This is another story day for you inside the Calabash newspaper for this morning. And the compass, Salon Compass say pathological lies like bio, like is Kabudu. And then you get ECOWAS exposes SLPP government. This is another story day for you inside the Compass newspaper. And the next paper and the Salon Times newspaper will say in connivance with Shallop net page, Power government increases passport price from 950,000 Leos to 1,850,000 Leos. Prince Sule replaces Dr. Koka as NOC president. President Bio reconnects Sierra Leone with Namibia. Um, you get Elsna Drunk Boost Never Give Up Foundation with 1,000 um, 1, years. This is another story there for you inside the Salon Times newspaper. Well, now the paper then this way we get inside the program this morning. For let we come, Rob Mott, Soba Soba One, inside the different, different issues them. Well, like all time, we don't get um, the parliamentary, resident parliamentary reporter. we same way so done, they be very, very much straightforward in terms of in your own analysis them way it don't they come up with inside this particular program. Well, um, this particular person, well, when it comes to issues we get for do with Parliament, I can always refer to Ram as the encyclopedia of, you know, this particular I'm um, sure because he really get wealth of experience, wealth of knowledge. He get boku boku idea when it comes to issues around the parliamentary issues, you know, the way our parliament operate and all of those things. So, you don't join me inside this program this morning. In name na Melvin Tijan Mansare. Melvin, like always, welcome and we gladly forget you inside the show this morning. For let me look at the different, different issues them, where the different papers them actually don't come up with. Good morning and we gladly again forget you this morning. Plenty, plenty thank you to you, Sanger Pierre. Plenty thank you to the producer and behind the scene of Beatles. And plenty thank you to the followers them all across the world. I want to say, I always gladly for coming on this platform because of one thing, the reach. I just need to watch the reports on the ECOWAS parliament and you already get five Ks. It mm -hmm. means people are following what we are doing and we are doing it for the benefits of Mama Saloon and we all. So if I can do that the program, let me thank you. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not getting light to Saturday and me tablets where I use some monitor views and comments. I'm not going for or get some, but definitely I tell you thank you before charge. So I will for there for communicate. But unfortunately forget the feedbacks. Um KRT can help me down that link. Let me thank you and compliments of the seasons of Pambulem and Saloon. And outside of Salon. Wow, thank you very much. Uh, we wish you the same. Anyway, let me go straight up inside the different paper then. And the first paper I want to follow look at this morning get to do with um, the um, Camboy. Camboy um, paper, Camboy Times newspaper. 
this one's very interesting. 100 days of the um, Inspector General of Police. You know, we don't take in our office. 100 days, yeah. IGP. Yes, we see a lot of things that don't happen. Of course, one of the first big issues we carry on with are the August 10 incident. But let's look at 100 days as the IGP. As a journalist with a new journalistic lens, how you don't see so far the police under the IGP in a 100 days? I'm just the cracking me in for find out the crash as to which is the difference between um, Fire Cellu, William Fire Cellu, and, and Ambrose Michael Sohulba, the previous Inspector General of Police. And I still they wrap me around that. But in the interim, 100 days in office, a standard and protocol demands, one for seeing 100 days speech, and we analyze them based on within a project. But if we use events, and trends, I don't, I don't see much difference. So, so, so I think, in my opinion, wait me don't this, that... wait me don't see as a difference in the one hundred days. Number one, we know they get IGP where they dance dance for we again, where they give you bad English, you know. But apart from that one day, I think say um, you you right, we not get anything way different from what in the police they do. Well, perhaps if you know they give bad English, we ask yourself how frequent they don't they be with the media. If in order to dance, dance, our social media savvy it be and our attuned it be with modern trends of communication. So perhaps that can be issue when the term go reach. But so far, I think select like presenting a report card. And if you presenting a report card, we already don't see, we don't see. We we still see. And by God's grace, we'll continue for see. What you can say in a 100 days address and what kind of events, whose platform you could do them, how you could do them. All of that will be used for Georgia because best practice as media all around the world can do in a president now in 100 days, it will tell you with nine accomplishments that is one, with nine accomplishments that is one, two, no, before even the accomplishments, with the emits, with nine things that you don't do under 100 days, we don't change them or not change them, why they not change, and I prepare for change them. So we think that context we always can analyze. The 100 days or 100 speech, 100 days speech or address of leaders or um, public of officials. So so far, August 10. If we use August 10 as a as, as a yardstick for measure, um, well, unfortunately that would be a big, 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 big misconduct. And unfortunately, under leadership, we don't see any repercussions on those officers will be executed on operation day. Only way to receive is compensation. Compensation for what is not explained. An independent investigation is only conducted on the innocent civilians. I underline innocent for the fact that, yes, some were violent, as we see in a video, but we are they holding guns and bombs and other things, them way being so commercially to the kind of force where the police be executed. We don't see any independent human rights com commission reports, independent police complaint board reports. Or even a special investigation committee mounted by parliament of that. So under in leadership, I would say the accountability of the police can be usually questionable because of the culture of impunity as reported by the United States Department of its report on, on the state of human rights in Sierra Leone. Thankfully, perhaps we might go to that issue on the state of the nation address delivered at their course by by a representative of the of of delegation. But all of these issues are governance issues we will need for the unpack. And on a we follow from them and serving our board with the understanding which right. may be back. Home. So before we go to that one day, we will take this first one. We basically get for do it parliament. We I can always say that you um that one day. Where the um observer, independent observer gets this story at the bottom, we say motion to annul PR regulation not sustained. <laughs> Tell me about this because I don't they watch this story, but I tell people them say I don't go attempt for coming to this because for me it looks technical and for me I don't get the expertise for going to this one. All right, in simple terms, I will say this exposes the hypocritical nature of the opposition and a salute. This a motion will be moved by the Honorable Musa Fofana from C4C and it will be seconded by the Honorable Mansari from the SMPP. Understanding the nature of composition of motioning. Whether the first sign, whether the second, I will tell you how that motion they go end. This is not C4C and SLPP MP. 
And when the debates in camp, that the well of parliament, the main opposition APC say they not go debate. And they give you their advance according to the leader on the bar. Now that the matter now done they before courts. And then they pray to courts. So they not go take part. But technically, they participate or they not vote. How in the end? In the end, say, the speaker be put the question, say, all the other ones we make for make the proportional representation for council and the district block system not work. Let them say the not one time. And in that process, the one that we say the not one time, they're not being more cool compared to the one that we say if for sustain. So technically, APC when we don't declare say the not want proportional representation, they be back out of the opportunity and hand over the power from parliament. We I didn't vote for them to the courts when our people already didn't select. I think I, I, I a bit I a bit lost. So in other words, um, the kind of tension where APC being get in the PR system against the PR system, not to that kind of zeal they then put in this regulation. Absolutely. Then then three time like Natwin and not be even done the objection on on Natwin and they don't say unconstitutional and otherwise. And what in this mean? It means say the electorate's power yeah don't be don't don't be don't be ceded to the courts. And if we vote some members of parliament then for votes on issues the way they support and not support, and somebody they say now because matter don't go na courts, we be done in a parliament before you go na courts. Please underline, matter will be done in a parliament before you go na courts. And now there is a time for say this cannot work. And they say no, the matter in our courts. It all boils to political hypocrisy and insincerity. And that not going to be so, far so in other words, that. because even when this part has been done in a court, the parliament not look at them for say they not going to go on with them. Then still come and say, let them discuss about this PR regulation when I be the thing that they will fight over in the parliament. And when mm -hmm. the opposition sit down and they say, no, they're not going to debate because them don't say this particular case in a court. But this not stop the, the, opposition, the ruling party and the other opposition party like the C4C. Um, what about NGC? NGC, the Honorable William Keller was playing diplomatic as he raised several issues around threshold and around dialogue and consultation. But if, if we can go to the votes, we will say he supports technically. So that's the position of the NGC on that. So I mean, it shows the question. It begs the question that for even the opposition, whether they cry, 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 we all for the watch them. If some of them cry, then they not so crocodile tears. Again, this is a victory for the for the government, and you never know when they go to the court. The court will say, "Let's refer to Parliament." Although these are separate entities, but we are waiting one they do will get an influence directly or indirectly on the other. So we are in if we get a motion where the parliament will annul those those propositions now being challenged at the Supreme Court. Who knows that the lawyers going for the APC will use all of those as references and as citation. So for me, it's not only the APC, but the opposition as a whole seem for be inconsistent with some of them prayers them at the legislature and then seem for the seed, the power to the courts. We all know what makes the courts behind the scene. Okay, so now this motion as a day in the paper to annul PR regulation not sustained. What in this go get for mean for the PR system in the election? It means if I go ahead, if the courts not say enough for go ahead. When we say parliament don't give don't give the go ahead, say PR system for gone. By way, way the increase say enough for go on, yes. Wait. <laughs> you know this one thing. <laughs> yeah, wait. I, I, now that, that this is not the main reason we make cannot put too much on this at all. Now, <laughs> Parliament annul the regulation, right? The, well, 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 for yeah, the, 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 the motion against. for let the annul. Okay, let we let we understand this. No book and don't to to layman's point. What did this annul basically the topic? What do you mean? It means say the motion where they say they not agree. We not agree. We not agree. Now we don't can say we for agree or not for agree. Now the motion they say all the way agree say we not for agree. When I say I don't don't want some people they say we will never say self will not agree again because we don't go to court. So in simple terms, we never for be say this proportional representation you know for all water. MPs they now say for all water. If I can summarize. Ah, so now this all talk about the PR system <laughs> where they don't broke it part, they don't go regulation card, they don't fit. Now the MP they don't say we don't grieve for the PR system for gone. Yes. 
And the way how they say so, they say so by way of say, but let them say they don't agree. They all say, some say they vote, some are vote, say they, they agree, say they're not for pull up. When you say annul, that means you say you for kill them, or you for crush them, or you for exterminate them, or you for expunge them, or you're not for all water, butter, butter. But in this case, now the whole water. Bata, bata. <laughs> okay, thank you, man. I like, I like, you know, true, 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 true. I mean, honest, empty. I mean, when they say, I expose myself to every empty head. Now in this, in this case, I totally lost in this because the all fight against in this uh, PR don't torment me brain so much that... <coughs> <coughs> I don't even know how we did again. I don't even know. I totally don't understand the one who posts it because I get totally lost. Well, if me get tormented and lost, I wonder how most of my viewers then go day. So because I know one for can mix up people then with misinformation, that is why I'm not talking about her. So now I've been mean, telling them say the one way responsible we get sabi for talking about this go can't tell them. But me, I not go put more today. And say now as I talk so, I not go put more today. Now you don't make them don't understand. So thank you. We don't able for understand. <laughs> we, we politicians yeah. then are game boy there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let, let's just see something quick. We don't talk about the um, the PR system. Something very important we I want to look at again. <clears throat> you know, still on the area of this ECSL. For example, the mayor with suicide and say. He writes a letter. Well, he exposed the inconsistencies. And then he writes open letter to the um, ECSL boss. You happen to forget the idea of waiting this letter there about? Well, we still monitor reports. Yes, there are local media reports with regards to the content. And again, as you know, we are the yard. We want to be very authentic in the yard. Mm -hmm. We still try to preview and review the letter. Mm -hmm. But from general reports, there are petitioning. Something not different from waiting the leader of the opposition be done the same in parliament, waiting the APC done the same with regards to this aggregation of data broke down. And if I put that into simple terms, are that the APC be done the ask for center by center, center breakdown, uh, and stations also, we neck not able for do it. So I'm sure if they are asking for a disaggregation, it's just re echoing within the honorable bar, within the APC party. Then we don't echo in previous other 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 statements. Again, with regards to the personality of the mayor, of course we know these are these are um, um, primary times for APC, and everybody wants to make himself relevant in the rather big up issues. But what's different and what's can it what can it change if the political parties have done talk, the leader of the parliament don't talk, what difference could the mayor make? And we know the mayor not only be a good I don't know it's not the feminine for, for, for fellow <laughs> but feminist with the current administration. But I mean, you if you talk about the personality of the mayor, she's been very astute. She cannot be a saint looking at her probing in parliament on accountability issues and a structuring of state institutions. But nonetheless, I will not be surprised if these are cogent things that are in short facts and inconsistent with the political party in position. And the leader of the position of parliament, the position with regards to neck. I, I try to get something. You say inconsistent. In other words, waiting the opposition leader saying, waiting the, uh, the mayor saying, they all two not in at the same page. No, I, I feel them they're, they're consistent. Okay, all right. And me fear that you know, you know, I feel say it will be consistent because from waiting one of the newspapers where you just if you if you, if you can bring them up, they are talking about this aggregation of data. Mm -hmm. And it, it goes back to waiting on Ibu Chair no bar, on Ibu Chair Gukobi, don't talk about they need a breakdown mm -hmm. on stations as to how they go about all this collection of these things. So, if not that, if they talk about, if they in conformity, if they in tandem, and in, in, in consistent, if not other than that, then we can say it's inconsistent. So, I suspect it to speak the language of the APC, which is opposition, questioning some of the gaps, which are really, really big deal issues with neck seem for the downplay. Okay. That's cool. And uh, our follow will look at again one other issue we get for do its parliament. We basically now the new um, mines and minerals um, act. We then don't pass this BNTM again na parliament. In other words they don't greasy 
this particular um, thing for become law. So this minds a mineral act, you know, where they just don't pass as law. So where they say, yes, uh, National Mineral Agency Act. You know, the min National Mineral <coughs> Agency, we already they exist. But now they don't pass another act. Tell me about this. Why they look at the last one and say, no, let me, let's get another one. It's just an improving with some technical and strategic changes with regards to power. Seemingly, the enemy seems for me to get more money than the Ministry of Mines and Mineral Resources. When it comes to national that, budget. Not only national budget, but revenue derived from mineral resources. And by way of out the award royalties and all of those things, the enemy is technically was before now powerful than the ministry. Yeah. So I think because of the mind you, this is a ministry we don't see a change of more than two or three ministers under this government and I, under the current administration of President Bill. Mm -hmm. So there was this conflict of power. There is this excess containment of revenue where this law seems for them tamper with and don't give some to the ministry and the minister mm -hmm. and the executive rather than a subset department or an agency. Mm -hmm. So that's it. But the bottom line remains that the NMA and the Ministry of Mines and Mineral Resources, they they at 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 then they then they, they blow at different wavelengths and it means say they're not going to see one side. We're not through the one old deliberation on that act, we not see the enemy director general in the person of Mathai. And this is a man who will not appear before parliament, and that's really not being good for tell with regards to several queries. Wait, 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 so, wait, 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 and all of those issues to so companies them, some of them companies, and the other day, one of them, at some Kolili, be the complain about more than four or five companies don't can don't go, and yet still there are issues. So all of these inadequacies, and mind you, the bottom line remains, if you look at the MCC reports on, 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 on management of natural resources, we've been progressively and consistently failing as a nation and under this administration, although not before now. Although even before now, I mean. So the mining sector, this act, according to within the politician, then don't decide that for let it curtail some of the excesses and give some power to communities and give what they are called a mega benefit to their communities then. We still not commercial with within companies that they take and the intermediaries and the third parties and the lobbyists and the backers. So whether this law we can change the lives of people, like for example, like Kono, or for example, like other places that we mine at some Kolili, we wait for see. But the bottom line don't remain is our uh, mineral resources or are these resources a blessing or a cost to we? Then they on a question we always perhaps a posterity here for decide. If I can remember very well on this minerals, you know, business what they talk about, so mini, uh, uh, managing mineral, uh, uh, natural resources and all. Now, one of the promises of this government, when they say they want for manage and for let it actually benefit, and we don't see this being them, say mining companies them, you know, don't they pay, you know, land, you know, fees, when landowner fees them, you know, to different communities them. And yes, the government don't they blow on that. They say yes, that they do very well because this time around they don't put a structure. Whereas you know the people them directly the benefit, not also one person they just see them. Now they get the community where the benefit and get community development fund and other things them. So I think you know, feel say they actually they make some impact some in this particular area. We need to do a, 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 a comparative analysis. Right, the program now we are on YouTube and on Facebook. We actually um, get um, the um, uh, we actually get Melvin Tijan Mansare. We they with we inside the program for let we talk about the issues them we come out of the front pages them of the different newspaper them. We just they talk about the Parliament we do enact the new National Minerals Agency Act. We basically they look at how. You know, the one for look at the powers where the National Minerals Agency gets as to the power where the 
uh, Ministry of you know Mineral Resources gets, how they could be for put together and how that for benefits the people. Them. Yes, Melvin, you will actually they try for make your point them on this particular issue. Yeah. Yeah, I think say the big issue there is unfortunately I'm not going to bring them up. I get the I, I get the, the initial proposal with the amen, okay. and that the percentage really go as surface rents to communities. Mm -hmm. To to to, for me personally, I don't want to bring the figure up, Ed, but it's still mega. Comparing within this multilateral, multinational or so-called multinational companies, then they can take, and also the consistency. You see, some companies don't secure exploration license for for decades. All right, we really get a challenge with regards to the internet connectivity. My the internet look the okay. I think okay. you get call. Yes, welcome back. Sorry, unfortunately, other call said the interrupt. It's okay. Um, again, for just for just wrap up, waiting, waiting, then they give to their community, then they to plus waiting, then then the exports. Yes, they are paying taxes and other things. But still not commercial it, and that's what experts are saying. And until we lost them, be attuned with we contemporaries them, we still do where um, then get a buoyant mining sector. I think we are not doing justice to our people. So they can be fine on paper, but then they know which you pay from which you get. And in simple sense, waiting and the gets to waiting and the key. If we use case study of waiting and the sofa we only see and for waiting and all left. In our commercial, it's some company the old exploration license for decades that they sell them to other companies. Some company you can say they want to do exploration for like nine years, just for one ten or fifteen years, then fold up and sell some of these rights and, and, and licensing to other companies. So against that context, I, I think say yes, governments could tell you say they are doing their bit, their bits and pieces, but the people in their community, and they, if you go there, you go see say. Then diamond, then, then iron ore, then gold, bauxite, and other things, and they, and they impact the life of the people that much. Okay. All right. So well, let, let me move a bit from this. Um, because. It already broken down for you, but I'll move a bit. I think I've been don't make a small mistake where I have been don't link this to that of the ECOWAS. We're just to talk about the PR system in the parliament where um, they say they are not, you know, sustained. You know, ECOWAS in this particular um, newspaper report basically they talk about the PR system as they say the, the indigenous ECOWAS parliament condemns timeliness of PR system in Sierra Leone. So now look at this thing ECOWAS, they under the question. The timeliness of the uh, PR system, and then now uh, we own parliament here. Then they go ahead with the PR system, then they give green light to the PR system. Now we look at this. This now we own parliament, and are they responsible for making law? ECOWAS can just intervene when necessary. ECOWAS, the cry or the question, the timeliness, parliament now, so they give the green light. Tell me about this thing. How then they conflict each other? Firstly, if we establish a conflict, if we understand the context, the okay. context here is that but they no will be well in my opinion, not the opinion of Riyadh, in my opinion, one hundred percent accurate. And I can understand why. You mean the, the report the report where the government the report, go present the No, the report, the newspaper reports. Okay. The newspaper reports. Okay. And I want to say thanks to Riyadh, to you and the editorial team. We do an item on that where we give the different sides of the story. Mm -hmm. And from the side of the story, Firstly, if you are saying ECOWAS Parliament, you must understand whether it's a resolution from the Parliament or it's a comment coming from MPs. Mm -hmm. I have covered Abuja, where I, we say the ECOWAS Parliament and the seats. Not once, not twice. Mm -hmm. I, I know the inner workings. If you for say ECOWAS Parliament, the object to it, then there should be a resolution coming from the plenary. There was no resolution. What I will say, there were MPs from Liberia, and another West African country where they question some of the issues raised in the reports. And I for say the report, in my estimation, is credible. The caretaker, I will send the report to you. I want to do one from last night, but unfortunately, this blackout will get this day. And I will for send that because I want to give you an independent opinion for go about the reports. I have a copy of it. The report was telling what the government say, what the opposition do. 
So that yes, report say basically when they get a whole program this night where we want for going to the the different statements of the different MPs them na the Equus Parliament where na a whole night where I've been done dedicated to that. Yesterday we just look at the the uh, opposition where we might talk about you know. Because you go get a wide experience on that day. Since you don't report as well, now the Equus Parliament. Continue. All right. So, Kiaseka, just for help with Riyadh, as we are part of the Riyadh family, we need to forget the response of the head of the Salon Delegation. We're not being there. But the speaker, the commander and chair, and can don't forget to take the role as head of delegation, we suppose, for do the defense. And... Firstly, I will talk about the content and the credibility. There cannot be any credible. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let I understand something. The head of the delegation be supposed to be the defense of that report, day, right? Of course, that's what. And the and the head of the delegation, in that on that note, not being the opposition leader. Yeah, we're not being in a salon for the day where that PI report be needed. Remember, we'll be doing that report. So look, I, I, want, I don't want to talk about that issue there for now. I just want to go to the procedures. Let people really understand. Okay. Now the, the procedure there is the head of the delegation should be there and defend what is contained in the report because the head of the delegation is the chief author of the report. The content of the report, in my estimation, is the best we can have as a state of the nation at the Wait, 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 wait. I'll be the try for understand this. Now you go to small, small. Please allow me for ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. Now. The head of the delegation to the European, sorry, to the Equus Parliament, now the yeah. author of that report, where they present to the Equus Parliament. Now, him not supposed to be the chief author, meaning, now in the sign up and the computer level can see what I will send to you, you have to watch for all that. So, you cannot deliver a delegation report without the blessing of the, the, the head of delegation. Mm -hmm. So if we go to that issue, I can always tell Pambul and that, how there be votes as delegation on the report? For me, I think they vote well that the report capture what's in the opposition, the Senate alone, and what's in the government, they say. Now, what is where I must see the general media and other media and capture and that, what's going to be the response of the head of delegation or a representative and what's in italic for waiting that situation at the ground? So I think the other thing that for be for be well coordinated, but first we have to read the reports and ask myself, is it saying the truth about the ground? I see some people don't pick their own sections the way they want. But the general political state of the nation for me, I think I'll commend the delegation for waiting the presents, whether the actuality of waiting they have been at the ground. So now, what's next? Are we expecting a delegation from the ECOWAS? What will they be coming here to say? Who will they be talking to? How? Much in good faith, they will take them in the day. That's when you will say, ECOWAS is not happy by what they will do next by virtue of resolution on adoption of the report. So for me, we're not for spin or politicizing of the reports here because the reports here, if we tell the actual situation at the ground, and if you not tell them, that the first question. And if you tell them, I tell them, and now they respond to them, and waiting actually the day for be with focus. Okay, so so now we they understand something, but I, I should say now next we could go into an in depth for know exactly the role where the opposition leader play where, after because now we don't listen to the report. I hope that report where you descend that the report that the way honorable very very unique can this is a read. Of course, that the country there are salon country reports where I get okay. So now we could get for car look later for net waiting and who that would have signed this report because who the person was supposed to be the chief author of that report today, not the honorable member of parliament, we're not the leader of the opposition. We will come into that one day, Nanette. So join me, let me able for see. Because we actually don't actually look at her yesterday and say, the opposition leader be missing in action. Why? <laughs> so, 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 I, I will still want a lot left that day for night. Let me see how we can deal with that day. When Miss Sensef don't watch and examine the report proper one, because honestly, yesterday night we've been getting a whole you know discussion about this. Whereas, what did me see? And the question when me hear members of the uh, 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 Africa, sorry, Equus Parliament, they ask, they make myself get a very big question of where was the uh, um, um, leader of the opposition? We suppose. For be the leader of the delegation, and interestingly, <laughs> they read, then call in him as the leader of the of the delegation, and are then five. We will talk about that as you don't know, say in the evening, and I will share the reports. I believe 
for real the reports of the delegation that are with you, I see even at the media because the media can be montaged. And that's why I ask you, when are the chief of the yard? Uh, I, I, from last night, I've been sending you a repeat. And for level, perhaps, we don't share the family. No, I'm not be guided by text rather than what is being presented to us. Because so, so wait, 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 Melvin, wait, 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 wait. If I can read the tongue very well, what in then read and what in there by text, something different they go on. No, what in projected for the media and the salon and the public and the salon is not capturing in all some the old political side of the report. But, but, but wait, this now about what in. If if you say the report now honorable can you say read, then of course we see everything, we hear everything. Yeah. But we now hear the defense coming from the delegation, right? Um the yes, we hear um, well, 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 maybe the minister, we hear honorable um, CD Tunis, where na the Tunis. leader or where na the speaker of Equas Parliament, we of course get in your part. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, we listen to so your part. The, so, with them two parts standing now, we say the same, I ain't really use now for make an informed judgment. For me, I don't see, I don't see the opposition not doing very good work in presenting some of the reservations presented in the report. But I don't see the government, if we are looking about politics, coming out to explain, waiting to explain, and give it that balanced diet of, which they go talk now two or not to two. For me, I think, say, they try their best to present a picture of what is happening in Sierra Leone at some point. But some other points, yes, we can dissect within the read. Within the read and within some people learn the read and project. Okay. All right. I, I, I all landed for now. So let me look at this. <sighs> so this report, according to other newspapers, where I go watch quick, quick, while I just browse quick and see if I get other newspapers that we basically talk about them. Huh? Where they say, for example, um, Equas puts Dio on the spotlight. Now, know what do you think about this? Because this basically... Well, if Talking about the Ecowas Commission, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ecowas, well, the one way pump up right now. Well, well, this one says me no, no. I don't know if now the, the Ecowas Parliament or what it just Ecowas puts beer on the spotlight. If it's the Ecowas Parliament, yes, based on, on waiting the salon delegation presents to them, there yeah, we are critical issues asked by Liberia delegation where they self forget election, then present their own case, the Gambian representative, and yes. So that's a spotlight. Mm -hmm. So we as well see other one they really say um 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 bio for actually a uh, make statements now the EU, you know on the US you know African is um, what summit. So if he's invited, the question there is how he's been uh, on what grounds he's been invited, for what glory or for what gods, achievements or strides. So we go to the, the one where the invites up. And now you start to invitation, we mean saying an invitation where any presidents can get on a special invitation. Yeah, because they say they go for make a statement. Let's just go through them and see. Um, if I can able for lay me, me, me hand on that particular one day, let me see exactly what they say on this particular. say P.O. Aham, a Concord Times newspaper gets them say, um, President Bill selected to speak at the U.S. African Leader Summit. All right, so if he's selected, then. We should be asking or perhaps raising some people here working with the U.S. Embassy on U.S. projects as to outcomes they, they've enticed the U.S. government to invite. So perhaps people will say, well, it means something for the country. And yes, it's supposed to mean something where the reasons are knowing the Americans for who they are based on programmatic approaches. So this should be a welcoming news for the Sierra Leone government and the people. Because we don't say we get the MCC scorecard and threshold, and we don't say that we don't pump money out. And now, all right, the program we you watch right now. Now, um, we had now Kores on we had now YouTube and on Facebook. We basically they look at the different newspaper reports them. We actually. Um, don't come out this morning and of course some interesting piece yesterday night to begin heated discussion yeah um with some and myself and the public on the issue of the honorable you know um member of parliament for the opposition we happen to be the leader as we've been put some same missing in action well melvin actually don't assess the whole thing and he go join with this net as we do look at the different statements them from the um um equas parliament the mps them
We as well go get for Yeri, waiting Melvin go get for say with regards this particular issue. Ask in the watch him, he don't watch him, he don't watch him, he don't listen, he don't hear everything, and now he'll come give his own, you know, point in all of this. Maybe don't get me inside already. <laughs> don't worry, where, where inside it. People be the say, oh, get the honorable member of parliament for the SSF come and respond to this particular issue. So let's ask you this question quick. Melvin? Hello. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Yes, let me ask you this question quick, please. Yes, I go ahead. You know, the honorable leader of the government business, in my opinion, I think say where he wants for talk to the media on certain issue, now it come out and talk. But not so based on waiting the media ask him for talk. Tell me say I'm wrong. You mean the leader of opposition or leader of government? The business? leader of opposition. It only they come out for talk on issue where in one for address, not on issue where the media go meet up for address. The honorable leader, I will agree with you that he's very choreographed. He's not only a lawyer, but a very cunning politician. He always wants to set the media's agenda, but he will not do so overtly. So it takes the media for being very sharp. Sometimes the approach that I use always on the ambush him. Sometimes you're not really happy with that, but you need to understand politicians and how you look them as the media. And I think we've not been ambushing him so much. We've not been voicing for us and persistent with him. Because at the end of the day, you are right. If we allow him for just to talk about seeing that we have a certain agenda around, it might be even we might be even misleading the audience. So waiting basically waiting basically are the try for say, for example, issues like this, you know, on this ECOWAS thing, we don't make a very, 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 very big issue. You know, so of that issue there, so it's supposed for the give audience to journalists them for giving your side. Yeah, and I think so only for reach out to Ram and for getting your side. At least I tried last week Friday, but it was on something different. For getting in, in your side of the story. Yeah, he is scripted. Or on he's the on the on the fisher like issue. Any... On the fisher issue. Yeah, exactly. We in fact may be almost to get an exchange on the what specific constitutional position we're taking concerning order and constitution. Right in the chamber, close by a seat, but that just seeks some clarification. But I'll tell you, I've followed him always as deputy speaker head of PAC. He is very scripted with the media, and whether that don't be playing in favor or I will play it on in favor in the coming years, it's yes to be seen. But yes, he's very scripted. And I think we have an option. We can ambush him or use the access to information rules and things like that. For me, I did I very close, and I think say ambushing is the only method. But yeah. He should be coming to the press. He's almost like President Bill. They are very scripted on the media. They only come to the press when they want to stage the narration. Other than that, they are very conservative with the media. Is it good for a politician? Some people can say yes. Others can say no. You don't want to Donald Trump kind of leader, though. And in some cases, even when they come to the media, they can just come read, like, you know, press release where in don't pull, but not interview. And that's why people for ask for interview. And I know say they grant interviews from media outlets. I know say we had now one media outlet where so you're gonna do background check on. Because uh, I mean the, one of the interviews where I go from container for we had. So it's scripted, I will tell you. And if you go places like Nigeria, that's how the politicians they are. Ah, they have their publicists, they have their PR people, they have a whole party of journalists for to world the press. But how you infiltrate is based on your maturity, your experience, your knowing of the rules. And I'm sure we'll ambush one of them this year. I'm sure. <laughs> we got so many questions then for him, particularly in conspicuous absence and disappearance. I mean, issues around his political ideology. I know, or I will say, I know, say, in your political ideology, you always want to say, you will say, Melvin, I believe in building bridges rather than burning them. And many times, if you read between that line, it will tell you it's kind of politician. But I kind of politics. So, so, so hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If, if I get that well, he believe in building bridges rather than burning them. And not too different yes. from waiting can the Yumke Lab in talk. When he been the try for talk, say, ain't not to that kind of possible just to criticize just like that one day, rather than, you know, he not to obstructionist, rather in a, you, you get the way you, I be put him. He's not a great singer, nor an obstructionist, but he's a centrist. So, so. But for a political party like the APC, you cannot be a centrist. Because the party is saying one thing, you are supposition leader, you are exposed to the echo watch, you are exposed to international best practice, you know what should be the rules and the limitations of the opposition. How do you play it? Yumkela is fortunate, he's having a political party 
way in at the Godfather. But Anaiko Chinoba is not in entire control of the APC. And in fact, he's a suspect in the APC. So looking at him, looking at the precarious situation of the, 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 the running mate's position, looking at the outcome of the last election and that full of block votes and his influence as the APC, looking at his role at the Western area as acting regional chairman, now he's played that role as parliamentary leader. There is no way you cannot take it away from him. He's a shrewd, cunning. But again, can we say he's, I don't know what words to use because he's a politician, but can we say he's a political correctionist, a centralist? Or what can we say he is? I think that's what is the politics he has been playing and playing very well over the years. All right. So let me jump quickly, Kwan. We just come to the end of the program for today. Um, Premier News got a paper where, of course, are the biggest visitor we don't see in the recent times. We are in Namibia and uh, um, President and the wife we come. Where we say, Premier News say, Namibia has a little bilateral ties. You know, a relationship, a visit like this, what do you mean for the country? It means a lot. Now, President Nae is very well known. Other people will say he's notori notoriously known for visiting other countries. Mm -hmm. So if there is a president leaving his country to come and visit him, is it a fruit as a result of the fruit of his own visit? Is it just a vocal? We go ask. But this can be a win also for diplomacy. Looking at Namibia in a strategic location and in a, 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 a state of de development, yes, we need to watch the, the global index and see the development, but they are relatively peaceful and they've been enjoying democracy. So what message is he bringing at a time of election year in this one? Is he coming here to just play the diplomatic politics and hypocrisy? Or is he here to be a broader enough to tell President Leo that he needs to dialogue with the opposition and main fences? Or is he coming here to arrange for bilateral businesses, most of which will not be in our own interests? mostly at our own detriment. So it is good in one hand because we don't know if now we really pay for in Kawan or they pay for themselves, if they don't pay for themselves, then tell the Africa outside Ganga. So we for talent for tell and thank you and we have been calm. And yes, we follow the state of the politic politics that the media and the economy compared to Sierra Leone and what difference are there. If there are no difference, then we ask what's the relevance. If there are, then what are the lessons that we should learn? But this could mean good for the Foreign Affairs Ministry for the, the embassy out there and for we diplomats them. We need to forget more people that for can visit we, but not for can no more. For can tell you the right message, say this is for start for politics in the area at all. So welcome to him. We don't know if you get for me to the press and we don't have the press that we don't go allow for, for interview and ask her questions because you know in diplomacy everything is shouted in hypocrisy. So this can we go to the same, you know, um travel business or the same, you know, a, a, a port business. They say e, a new e passport available effective today, and now with it, bam, at one hundred one million eight hundred and fifty thousand leons, you know, and uh, yeah, where they they still are now to hundred. It be always the hundred. Loan or mis, make that mistake. It be always the hundred dollars. You know, just that from where it the hundred dollar be they, they be they put them at the um, local rate. We make it not be the move, but it always the hundred dollar. And now we they find out say they don't pay now. How we sleep awake, the dollar they move, now so the passport price they move. So what in this game go mean for people where they go for passport every now and then? This is a, a deal between NetPage and the government of Sierra Leone and before now other players. Where this government while in opposition, where they just cannot power them be the we see the overturn. We see the honorable give away and others they all and they were they were very mouthy about it. Speaker of Deputy Speaker of Parliament also. Waiting happy, waiting happy, Shalop still maintains the, the free and the deal they go on. Originally, not so now, he always done the peg to the dollar and the, the next page and company, they always done the argument, they're not the sorry for we. They're the sorry for we, we then the fry with the dollar. We will get along at this country, we say everything should be done in millions. Nonetheless, then we always have you say, oh, it's nearly buy nine dollars, which is reasonable. Mm -hmm. But the fact remains, with a question whether it's e passports, we are in Sierra Leone when we are told that we are using biometric passports. I remember then telling that one for interview, Mr. Omrigoli, although he declined, whether he as a diplomat and a seasoned diplomat, whether he actually gets... All right, we're still day on with the program. Um, cool rest, and we get Bye Melvin Tijan Mansare. We yes, don't join Ali, with of you. course, don't... Yes, yes Melvin. Sorry, Ali, you, 
you don't you don't scrap with far past me. But for me on passports in Africa, when you talk about e passports or biometric passports, I, I mean it's questionable. So if they are now calling e passports, can I be able to access it with my 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 my, my tablet when I when I go for example to Katoka? So we will be careful. So we need to see sample of that e passport and let me know because salon if they say biometric, I mean how they if I find out for signal biometric, if they say do not clean. A salon will be winner for us. But e passports, it's welcoming. <laughs> but what are the e features? What are the e services? And so on and so forth. So for me, I hope that we interest the big deserve. And I hope that business interest and not the overshadow with the ordinary people and, and the one that we're fortunate for the travel. Okay, so the last thing we are going follow we talk about. Now this one we get for do with debt. You know, I see this. Now the only thing this will take over the this particular paper, we now the night watch newspaper. Night watch newspaper gets a very very big banner headline. We talk about the debt in the last government and the debt in this particular government. So it been deliberate for make comparison and say um, um, um APC's debt in eleven years four point nine nine trillion, you know SLPP debt in four years over eighty point three one trillion. So. Uh, I, you know, I know I know even forget myself together on this because if I can remember right one or clearly from waiting um Kiateka Bio talk the same way it be the campaign, he say if we get a debt, that means say we not get a reserve. Now that he exactly talk in the campaign. So if now we don't talk about over eight point eighty point three one uh, um, trillion. It means that we don't get reserve at all, at all, at all. But again, with the year, then they talk about we get four in reserve, we get four in reserve. How we get four in reserve with that? Um, Senga I think say that article lay back. I want to pick some bone with the article. Go ahead, please. Simple, simple comparative uh, analysis methodology. They tell you say you never compare eleven years of four year. So I mean, they expect a disaggregation of four to four year, or you patient with five to five years. You cannot. I mean, so if somebody will come up from government bench, he said, well, give me a figure for four years, then the figure is not out of, or he even out of it and than that. So now he will make a take them small for to go about that. But the fact remains that, yes, the public debt, internal and external debt is huge. Government operative them, and then we you kill them. They all want to talk, and that's why they are recommending for a cut in expenditure, in traveling and hospitality. So we are faced with a debt burden. And don't want to get some civil society there now. As I already talk about, for them giving debt relief. Mm. But the one that already give you debt, how they don't give you debt relief, who we'll just take debt. So the debt ceiling, although government operatives and they tell you say we're not boss are it, but people are afraid say the state of the economy is worrisome and might be in fact a shock on the economic projections. So certainly, yes, this government is grappling with debt, and yes, they may not agree, say they may not make months during the campaign and if you give me the read the manifesto and tell you say um the last government they may take boku boku debt and once I said they, they put months pan at China and when this government self come there in China at the same party no more plus other IMF and other debts then and, and, and programs in grants and loans. So what is new whether then we need to set the parameters right in terms of the duration and in terms of the the, the, the so called or purported project and what has changed in our lives. Well, yes, this government, like the previous government, they are, they are debt reading and they are still taking more debts. Okay. Um, so I think I want for all you day and say thank you because um, we don't actually look at different different things then. But um, I'm not going to be, um, um, I'm not gonna be um, balanced if I not talk about this one. When they talk about debt, now we don't see financial sector get ICC endorsement. In other words, they don't be and come at the ICC finance, you know, committee. You know, what did this again mean? Now when they talk about debt, when they talk about, you know, we, we financial sector being part of the ICC and all. Well, common sense go to your research and say because you don't manage your debt well or not well. <laughs> because some of those things should be the yardstick or indicators. But if it's been appointed, then they get reasons. And we must get citation for which we for ask. Now, realities on the ground, or well, no matter what you say, this is going to be played as its competitive card because it's a victory. You get all the nationals in Africa, we 
they were for the other kind of competition. Mind you, the ICC and the Rome Treaty and Africa, you get your own story all of a sudden. But Salon says, if we want to talk about ICC, we we'll get issued there with some people in the background to talk about like, the Palembang Road incident, August 10th, and then the call for intervention of ICC. So if somebody is being invited to be part of the ICC team in terms of financial management, first year we ask, what's the state of the nation's economy and finances? What's, what's the state of international criminal human rights law value? And that can be a question for another day. But this is should be congratulating on the side of the government that I think it's Mr. Sajusu, right? Yes. Saju Sajus, who I know very well, he always is always in parliament as a technocrat. He deals very well with the politicians. He's now getting that appointment. Congratulations to him. And we hope he's been appointed for something good that he's doing here. But the economy is not speaking towards that end, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Now, like where the, the opposition, the, the government now been the talking, the, the third in the opposition say, oh, yeah, then they said the APC government get one of the fastest growing economy but on paper. Perhaps he's been appointed on some theoretical progress or achievements. We wait to see the tangibles in terms of reality. Yeah, Thank you. Reality. Thank you very much, Melvin, for joining me inside the program today. And we hope for see you again because the parliament tune. On the Equas Parliament and the comments of the MPs, then we get for talk about and see us on it. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time for where you don't take this Monday morning. Busy Monday morning for joining inside the program. Cool rest for we eat different um cool rest them where you don't prepare for we. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you to viewers all around the world. All right. In the na Melvin Tijan Mansare, we actually na parliamentary resident parliamentary reporter. We don't join me inside the program today. Well, I want to tell special thank you to the producer of this show. It did do extremely well for make sure say this show they reach you. In fact, when I say producer, I really they put on the, the, the role of a producer. It they produce me to the best of your ability. So I'm thinking before wake my morning, no easy. I can do sweat, sweat and sleep in the way. Hey, come on, presenter, wake up, wake up. Yes, presenter, we for start right on time. Presenter, I hope so, we we'll start right on time. Yes, presenter, we no need for late. You know, you did do a very good job, you know. I appreciate you. Since we start this program at the very shortest possible time, you know, actually, they create some impact, you know, in terms of how, you know, the program. You know, we just meet recently, and you don't begin produce. We meet and begin produce this particular program, and we don't see the impact way it creates in terms of your production experience. For ladies program, the issue side, the issue in terms of getting the guests, getting the the newspaper, getting things them done, getting the presenter up and running. Ah, thank you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you for you relentless, you know, um, work where you don't do. You know, you really don't do extremely, extremely well for make sure say this program reach outside again for reach. And uh, you know, one of the people them, um, you know, we don't they make we they get a balance inside the program right now. We they get different voices them way for come inside the program. It's a good thing. That we get different voices than now. In as much as this one are uh, colors and the different from we had. So we can just scatter, scatter and mix up and box up like that one. But you really did try for the professional job be done inside this particular colors program. Thank you very much. And we look forward for bringing other programs them as well to you. That is why we as well try for see how best we can able to raise some amount. Because producing program means lots of money. So um that make a member again this other thing and say yes we want for it five thousand dollars from now to um the twentieth and now we don't get one thousand and eighty one. We as well try for see how best we came for it the five thousand within the shortest possible time where we can use for help we self for produce a better better show. Well my name is Tembe Pierre the Freedom Fighter on behalf of the team or until we meet again inside another beautiful edition of the program when I call rest tomorrow morning. One more time, I want to say, I want to say happy birthday to the channel where the three years, the September the 20, my birthday the 24th, September, and by way, birthday the 6th. And of course, the producer of the show, in birthday now on the 21, the 21, just one day after the channel turned three, the producer when I Elias Saba in birthday will be on the 21st. So I want to say thank you very much, Elias, we appreciate you. We know you get meeting you within the shortest time where we do actually meet. You know, for let you actually transform certain things then professionally in this career's program. Thank you very much. We appreciate you so, so, so much. Well, until we meet again, one for say, thank you very much. Thanks to you. We come and watch. You will come and listen. You will just come and like. You will come and share. And uh, we want for appeal to you that you need for share this program and like them as well. Thank you very much. Until we meet again, 
Until we meet again, we want to say God bless we all. God bless we country Sierra Leone. Thank you all, family members. We love you all so much. This song come up from Madam Sidra to Aminata Kamara from the United States of America. It is dedicated this song to one of the biggest organizations at the world. We had. Yeah, big way begin. It's your never tap it the ball. Daily days. You don't know what. Get up like this. Come on. We had organization. So love we all I'm fine, this now we are